Deloitte's 5G and edge computing solutions help organizations connect capabilities and take advantage of ubiquitous real-time data through enhanced 5G, Wi-Fi 6, IoT, and edge computing offerings. Joining me to discuss is Rob Casagrande, Managing Director at Deloitte, and Dan Littman, Principal at Deloitte Consulting. Welcome to you both. Rob, I want to start with you. Sure. What are the ways you're seeing clients looking to utilize high-performing networks? Sure. Well, you know, our clients are reaching out to us for a couple of reasons. The first is just to improve their overall infrastructure and connectivity. You know, with the advent of uh, high-performing networks and wanting to use data to really drive impacts to their business, some of the older technologies aren't capable of handling the scale that's needed. Uh, to really redefine their, their, their business operations. So the first sort of inbound uh, discussions we have is how could they use a 5G network to really create ubiquitous connectivity both indoor, outdoor, over wide areas in their facility, whether it's a campus, a manufacturing facility, as a way just to improve their overall foundational you know, infrastructure. The second piece is once they set that foundation, how could they transform their business using it? How do they can take that network, that connectivity, add it with edge compute, add, capture that data, to really define the next set of applications and use cases that are going to transform their business and create a competitive advantage in the market. And Dan, we're hearing so much about edge compute. Why is edge compute so important to consider alongside connectivity? When we talk about advanced connectivity, we're really thinking about how you're connecting devices, how you're connecting information, and that often bleeds over into operational data, not just information data. And in doing so, new considerations have to be taken into account, like latency, right? How quickly can devices respond to connectivity? Um, and it also takes into account security. So often on-premise solutions, edge compute, whether it's near edge, device edge, or far edge, you know, often solve those problems better than a centralized cloud. And you'll see more and more of that migrating to an edge. So Rob, how does this help enterprise turn complexity into a competitive advantage? Yeah, so, so many enterprises are trying to solve a lot of problems. And you know, typically, they might look for a point solution or a couple technologies to solve individual issues. And the approach that we take is we want to really set and help our clients build a, a digital transformation platform of the future, which takes in, as Dan was talking about, the advanced connectivity and the high-performing network, marry that with the ability to compute, edge computing, capture all that data, add in sensors and devices and you know, uh, adjacent technologies like AR, VR, IoT, all of that is going to lead our clients to really redefine how they operate. Drive real-time operations, drive be better productivity, more efficiency, and the flexibility and agility to change the way that they're working and, 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 and be overly you know, more productive. So it's using this platform to create a com kind of competitive advantage in how they operate, which will in turn you know, impact how they go out in the marketplace. So Dan, how are you seeing clients uh, consider using private networks? It's really when they want to have more control over how their information flows from point A to point B and how it goes from their devices and from their people into their systems to drive decision making and to, in the end, increase productivity. Uh, that control is enhanced when it's operational data. Uh, that control is enhanced from a security perspective. Um, and that's really what lets them apply other tools and connectivity, edge compute can be force multipliers on other uh, technologies like AI, ML, to drive intelligence, to drive greater productivity from an existing workforce. If you think about what companies are confronting right now, whether it's inflationary challenges, whether it's supply chain challenges, uh, whether it's a threat of economic slowdown, whether it's a labor shortage, right? Productivity is the name of the game right now, and these technologies led by 5G and Edge can help with that. So Rob, I'll start with you, but I want both of you to answer. Sure. Where do you see this going in the future? Yeah, I think once foundationally the, the platform is there, the, the growth of it is really exponential. You know, we, we like to use this term stackable use cases. So once you've built that platform and you enable one or two use cases, you'll start to see a return. But the, uh, the value is these platforms can be easily scaled, they can be added to, which allows you just to do more and more and more and more. So you're just going to see so many more advanced applications and use cases across all industries that are leveraging not just the power of connecting all these devices but the, and capturing all that data, but the ability to process it at near real-time speeds. And they're bringing some of the technologies that I mentioned and Dan mentioned to really change their business. So it's really an exciting time because it's bringing together all these different things we've been talking about over the last few years 
and the way that businesses are going to use this technology and these emerging capabilities to transform, it's going to bring it together and we're really going to see the impact of it uh, very soon. Anything to add to that? I would just say there's, uh, there's really only two certainties when it comes to the world of data and communications and technology, right? There's more devices and more data traffic, right? Those, uh, everything else has been more uncertainty, but those have been uh, consistent trends. So when you apply that to this world, it's about the billions of devices, uh, billions of machines, you know, much more data than people can process, it's what machines can process. So increased traffic growth, increased you know, ability to handle multiple, data, multiple devices, that's what 5G Edge is all about and being able to process the data that comes off those in an intelligent manner to improve productivity. So it's really an expansion of this market uh, from now until the foreseeable future. So if I was a business owner or owned a, a big company, where would I get more information to find out how I could get on board? <laughs> well, uh, you know, shameless plug, but please head out to our, our website. We are, our whole practice, um, we've laid out a lot of different perspectives on what we think of the future of 5G and Edge, all the considerations you need to take in from private versus public 5G, the differences in the value between 5G or Wi-Fi 6, what are some of the spectrum considerations, uh, as well as a lot of the use cases and applications by industry that you can put on top of that. Um, and you know, there's, our website has, has a ton of that eminence, has all the capabilities that we bring to the market, who we partner with in the market, because the reality with 5G and Edge is, you know, an ecosystem is, is not a nice to have, it's a necessity. Um, and there's really no one-stop shop, but one of the things that we've been doing is bringing together an ecosystem to make this real, and have all those pieces in place that we could really help organizations transform their business using this capability. Excellent, well thank you both for being with us. Thank you. Thank you.